All right, race fans, the 2023 Formula One season is underway, and I had a ton of fun watching the race using multi-viewer for F1 in Bahrain. So much fun. In fact, I went ahead and pulled the trigger and got the big chungus. That's right, the Stream Deck XL. It also changed a lot of the way my integration with Stream Deck and Multiviewer for F1 works. Of course, we have all the same control features as before, being able to pause and unpause and sync all the driver feeds, the map, the data channel with the broadcast commentary. Also have the ability to move backwards and forwards easily. But we have some more new features, including the ability to toggle the telemetry for each driver feed. It'll give you the speed, the gear, the RPM, the throttle response, all of the tasty goodness from the telemetry feed. Also have the ability to mute and unmute the broadcast commentary, making it easier to access those radio messages when they pop up in the live timing. But the thing we're most excited about are all the changes with the control of the drivers. Now we're coming up on that big battle between the Dark Lord and the GOAT, so we will change George Russell to Fernando Alonso by clicking the change button, clicking Russell's icon, and then clicking Alonso. We'll then, of course, sync that up with the broadcast commentary using the sync button, and we will click Alonzo's button, which will make him full screen so we can really dig into this action and this amazing battle between Alonzo and Hamilton. By clicking uh, Hamilton's button, we can see the view picture in picture, and as we are coming up to the end of this Titanic battle, we can use the cycle button, the recycle button, to switch in between the smaller picture-in-picture -picture view and the full screen of each driver, giving us all the detail of the action after that killer turn 10 overtake by Fernando Alonso. We also have a button we can press that will duck the broadcast commentary and activate the driver radio for the full screen feed, giving us the ability to listen in on the driver radio after the battle had taken place. All of it, super, super fun. Well, let's take a look at the start of the race and show this off a little bit more clearly. Obviously, Sergio Perez is on the dirty side of the track and it did not do his launch any favor. So as we kick off and this lights out and the race is on, we can see he gets a terrible start against the two prancing ponies of the Ferraris of Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz. Definitely getting Harry going into turn one, so we can use that recycle button again to cycle through the different views to get a good look at each of the three drivers in this critical moment in the race. And as you can see, with one click of a button, we can get every possible angle of the action as Charles Leclerc does stick that overtake over Perez into turn one. So that's the rig, ton of stuff that's brand new. I am enjoying hacking on this API. I would like to send a big shout out to the folks over at Multiviewer for F1 for creating the best way to watch Formula One online. You can find it at multiviewer.app. That's multiviewer.app for the best way to watch Formula One online.